Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Well, it is February of the 21st and it is uh, coming to a close, Black History Month. And I feel horrible because I have not yet shared, prepared, or spoken about it at all. But hopefully this video will make up for it because this is literally the most gorgeous thing in my collection my diamond painting collection as far as portraits go. Um, I saw Nurse Rachel unbox this when Diamond Art Club made three beautiful, uh, release, I should say, three beautiful kits um, in honor of Black History Month. And when I saw Nurse Rachel um, unbox this, um, I snatched it up with a quickness as soon as it was released. Now, what is it? We do know it's a square because it's got the blue square and the blue line and it does say square diamond painting kit. You guys, I will not keep you in suspense. This is Golden by the Eau Claire Studio. It is a 50.8 by 73.5 centimeter square diamond painting kit. Um, and she is just stunning. I need to open this like right now. Um, yeah. Not only was the image stunning, when I saw her um, actually show the canvas, um, my jaw dropped. And I am not huge on portraits, unless it's kind of like fan art. But this is something different because the rendering on this is breathtaking. Breathtaking. And wait till you see it, you guys. Um, it's like she just has honey just gold dripping off of her is absolutely stunning so anyway let us get into it um without me farting around um too too much now oop, there we go so first and foremost we've got to check out our um small sticker people use that for their log books they put it on the side of their box they do all sorts of fun stuff with it um i put both stickers in my log book so here it is absolutely gorgeous here is our toolkit. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much in depth that, except that round and square toolkits are exactly the same, except that squares come with your Diamond Art Club tweezers and they are sharp, so please keep that on there. Um, what else? Everything is the same. Now the colors and contents may, as far as design may vary, but other than that, they are the same. You will get a bag of baggies. You will get a pen and a squishy. Mine are happen to be more of a fuchsia color. You will get a roll of washi. So my roll of washi may be different than what you get. And it's a pretty floral with a violet background. You get a skinny seven and four placer. A pot that comes with two plates of heart-shaped wax. We got this cute little dolphin cover minder to hold the plastic back while you diamond plate paint. And then we have our boat with the spout right there. So I heard that Diamond Art Club was eventually going to be discontinuing the cover minders. I'm not quite sure when that will be, but for now they are still available. And here comes Neo coming to check these out, sir. And I guess he's just gonna plop right down on the table because he must be very interested in this kit. So here comes in your branded dust bag to keep cat hair, dog hair, children's fingerprints, your fingerprints, food, and anything else that may possibly get onto your stunning diamond painting before you're able to work on it. So we will see how long he stays up here. I'm just going to unroll this. He'll probably leave because he'll be incredibly inconvenienced by this, but we shall see. All righty, sir, excuse me, so I'm just going to plop that on him. So real quick, here is your pamphlet that comes with your um, kit. Thank you note from the founder is on the front. You'll get what's in your kit, tips and tricks, QR codes to videos, as well as a VIP Facebook group. Some more step-by-step -step instructions. And last but not least, the QR codes for the app. One's for Android, one is for iPhone, and you get 20% off your very first purchase with that app, regardless if you're a seasoned diamond painter or brand new. We have our drills right here. 
and they are labeled with the name of the kit and the number just in case you store your stuff separately. But let's get into this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous image. You have your start, your end date, and the size at the bottom. We have 45 colors, you guys, and it looks like we have two ABs, two, one crystal, and two fairy dust diamonds in here. So we've got lots of special drills. Um, she is stunning. This will definitely get hung in my home. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so these are pre-cut labels, and then you have all these extra ones on the side to use for whatever you want. So let me move all of this over here, and we're gonna look at that gorgeous image. Are we ready? Sir, can you move? Yeah, he is not even trying to move, you guys, so I'm just gonna zoom out so you can see all this nonsense right here, meaning the cat. Now this does come with the perforated edges. Oh, see, he's annoyed. I'm just gonna lift the plastic up very gently to let it rest a little bit more and lay it down before he decides to put his little paw on it. Oh, are you holding the side down for me, sir? Thank you. And I'm gonna do it up at the top because it doesn't really want to rest. Now, Diamond Art Club kits are made with a tarpaulin material, which allows your canvas to lay flat more quickly and also holds on to the color to prevent fading as well. All right, so you guys, now, I know that there is a ton of confetti in this, and I knew this going into it, so I'm not even gonna complain, because Nurse Rachel, she already, Rachel already let us know, because wherever you see this gold, this neck area, the side of her face, her beautiful cheekbones, her, up here by her temple, all confetti. But that's how we're gonna get that fabulous image. Um, and I know this, and I don't care. It'll be completely worth it. This is just to die for. It's, it's gorgeous. I cannot say enough beautiful things, amazing things about this um, because for me to purchase a portrait like this says something because it's just, it's just really not my style. But at the top we have Do What Makes You Sparkle. We have what's up, um, an image, an image. We have a legend in the upper left and one down here in the lower right. Also, you have your thumbnail down here um, with the name of the kit and showing that it is legally licensed from the Eau Claire studio. What do you guys think? Did anybody else get this one? I know my dear friend Shanta, she did get this one as well. So I'm really excited to see her take on it and what she thinks when she unboxes hers. Um, but this is just gorgeous. Now, the entire background is 310, which is going to be nice because that is where we're going to get some color blocking. We do have some right here, some color blocking down here and in here, and then parts of her face, her forehead, and then her hairline. So Although it looks, oh, the confetti that we are seeing is probably the most heavily confettied kit I have. It does balance out because there is a really nice amount of color blocking on this kit. So what does everybody think? Isn't she amazing? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. All right, let us get into these drills, you guys. I want to see this, especially those special drills. So here we go. I'm going to open them up. All right. So this is a very dark color palette, but there are some bright colors in here. What is that? Oh, it's just remnants. So we're just going to, I'm just going to take them as I see them. So we'll start with the largest amount of bags first remember diamond art club does not um go by dmc they go by weight so here we have 814 815 we have two bags of 154 3834 one two three four bags of 3371 918 and then we have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven bags of 310, nine, three, eight, and two bags of three, eight, five, seven. All right, next we have 315, 400. We do have some blushy colors in here. 3777. Seven, seven. Here we have our crystal right here. L445. How shiny that is. 355. Five. Here's our first fairy dust. It is 720. Now the fairy dust diamonds have a, like a mica type powder in them for a little more uh, glistening effect instead of as bright as the AB. It's that pretty 720 orange. 444. Four, four. 920, 741. 3740. 300 and then 814. Now for our last train of drills. These have the smallest amounts in them. So that is where a lot of some more confetti will also be. Here is our second fairy dust right here. 726, this really pretty bright yellow. 842, here's our first AB. 7115, uh, that really pretty red. 740, 782, 951. Here is our second AB, that 141, that really bright white. 742, 3770, 783, 407, and 780. So, they even though it's got a very dark color palette, there are lots of bright colors to offset it. So, let me clean this up and then we will get back to it um, and see where all these special drills go. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we are back now with our image to check her out and see where all these fabulous colors go. So what we're looking for on here, one is one on here with that 115, and then 141 is that uh, black square in the middle of the white background. We also have for our, for our one of our fairy dust, that upward carrot. We have the little kind of, this little box with a dot or whatever you want to call it here. And then we have a up to the right carrot for our crystal. So I'm just gonna call them as I see them because they're probably in the mix somewhere. So I will zoom in. All right, excuse me, excuse me, sir. All right, so we do have some of the uh, yellow fairy dust throughout here. We have white AB and some of the yellow fairy dust in here, as well as um, the orange fairy dust. Now I am looking to see maybe where that crystal will go. So we have some orange fairy dust in here. Uh, we have some of that white AB in her lip right here up in her top lip and then some of that red AB is sprinkled throughout her beautiful lips. Oh I'm sorry that carrot that sideways carrot that you're seeing right here I'm sorry that is where that crystal goes. I'm looking for the yellow fairy dust which is that upward carrot. What is okay We have more, a lot of that crystal on her face that's going to be stunning, but I'm not seeing where that upward carrot is for the yellow fairy dust. I'll look for it for a little bit more because I'm just having a really hard time locating it. I'm seeing every other special drill on here except for that one, but I'm sure it is mixed somewhere in this insane confetti all in here. So let me zoom out real quick. So what do you guys think of her? 
Clearly, Neo is a big fan because he really hasn't left throughout this filming. Um, and he is drawn to this. This piece must clearly speak to him. Um, I just can't say enough good things about this, how happy I am with this rendering and that I have this in my collection. By far, like I said, the most stunning portrait in my collection. So what do you guys all think? Do you happen to have this one? Is it on your wish list? Um, cause she is, uh, uh, I love it. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to get out of your hair right now. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, leave me a comment, like share, let me know what you think about her. Um, she's absolutely stunning and I'm just really, really excited about this one. So I hope everyone has a fabulous rest of their week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.